little bit sluggish was Better Cross Fire in the white with the back seams and also Alpen Power. But staying on towards the lead on the inside, the favorite charged up in the blue and red colors got a good start in the white with the blue sleeves. That's Swift Salient towards the wide outside due consideration. Horse with the white face and the light blue cap, Lexington Bell. On the inside, we've got Alpen Power. Behind Alpen Power comes Better Cross Flyer. And the back marker is Lubier. Making the bend at the far end of the track in this British Stallion Stud to European Breeders Fund, Maiden Stakes. And the favorite, charged up, has the lead as they swing right-handed back towards us. On his outside, we've got Swift Salient. Then on the wide outside in the orange cap, due consideration. On the inside in the blue and white spots, the newcomer Alpen Power. Keeping this one company in the light blue cap is Lexington Bell. Then the stripes of Lubier. And the back marker now is Buttercross Flyer. Here they come down to where it starts getting interesting. Two and a half furlongs left to run. The favorite charged up on the left. On the right, Swift Sadie. And these two are stride for stride. On the outside, as we look on the right, due consideration in the orange cap on the heels of the leaders, Lexington Bell is asked to improve. Down towards the last furlong and a half. On the left, charged up. On the right, Swift Sadie. These two settle down to battle it out. Lexington Bell has now got running room in third. A furlong left to run. Charged up on the far side. On this side, it's Swift Sadie. Charged up, just getting his head in front where it matters and coming towards the line. Charged up, the favorite is going to win the first race nicely. In second place, good run by Swift Salient. Third in the light blue cap. Delayed five runner. Join Racing TV now, Handicap. And the blue and red colors of Cuban Rock got a good start. Star start up on the outside in the red sleeves is second. In the blue and yellow, Lady Linmore and third. Fourth towards the outside is Rockin' Rosa and held up towards the rear is a Lincoln Rockstar. That's the order as they go towards the bend at the far end of the track. And Cuban Rock from the Jim Goldie stable now goes on. On the outside, we've got in the red sleeve, Star Start from the Rebecca Menzies stable. On the inside, in the blue and yellow, Lady Lingmore from the John Quinn Yard. Then the blue and white of Rockin' Rosa trained by Ruth Carr. And the back marker is Lincoln Rockstar from the David O'Meara Yard. There's about five lengths between the quintet as they come towards the halfway stage. Just over half a mile left to run. And Cuban Rock, the leader, by about half a length. Star Start up on the outside is a close second. Third on the inside in the blue and yellow is Lady Lingmore. Fourth on the outside is Rockin' Rosie. And being ridden along towards the rear at this moment moment is Lincoln Rockstar. So here they come down the home straight. Cuban Rock in the blue and red colors on the far side. Leads with two and a half furlongs left to run. In the green and red sleeves, this is Star Start who moves well on the stand side. These two are virtually stride for stride. Under pressure in third is Rockin' Rosa. On the outside Lincoln Rockstar is asked to improve and does so but will have to. A furlong and a half left to run. Cuban Rock on the far side. Star Start comes under pressure. Cuban Rock digs deep on the far side and still has the lead. Cuban Rock has the lead from Star Start in second. In third, Rockin' Rosa. Half a furlong left to run. It's still Cuban Rock who has the lead. And Cuban Rock and Paul Mulrennan are coming away and going to lead all the way. Cuban Rock is going to win it. In second place is Star Start. In third, Rockin' Rosa. Well, there was peace. Then comes a won't get fooled again, Dale Swift. And the back marker is Red Missile and Callum Rodriguez. That's the order as they go out with a circuit to run. In this 7.30, the Every Race Live on Racing TV Handicap. And the Keith Dalgish train, Bell of Annandale, leads by about three lengths as they swing right-handed into the back straight with about a mile and a quarter left to run. In second place is Your Kindness from the Charlie Johnson stable. These are one and two. The leader just been ridden along there. I think he passed the stables. He thought, have I got to go around again? Yes, you have. So Bell of Annandale, the leader, but only by a length. On the outside is Your Kindness. Then disputing third place on the inside in the red sleeves, Baez. Up on the outside is Adelico, and a close fifth is the red-hot favorite, Robert Johnson. Tracking these in the cheek pieces, we've got Excelsius, then comes Won't Get Fooled Again, and still the back marker is Red Missile. At the halfway stage, a mile left to run in the 7.30 here at Musselboro tonight, and Bell of Annandale continues to lead by three parts of a length. Your Kindness moves nicely in second, disputing third place. Baez is on the inside, and the red sleeves on the outside with the chevrons. That's Idilico. That's the leading four as they go towards the bend at the far end of the straight. Beginning the sweep right-handed back towards us. Six left to run.
And still Bella Vanna Dale, the leader by a length. On the outside, your kindness. On the inside, it's Baez. Up on the outside, we've got Idilico. Tracking Idilico is Robert Johnson. On the inside of that one is Excelsius. The red colour's just been ridden along. Won't get fooled again. And being asked to improve his red missile towards the rear. So here they come into the home straight. And Bella Van and Dale, Billy the Kid Guarantee, just kicks on a little bit. The move is covered by your kindness. And also in the red sleeves, Baez is moving very nicely indeed. Then towards the outside in the maroon chevrons. Idilico is coming with a good run. On the extreme right, Robert Johnson is now asked to improve, but will have to. Here they come down now to where it starts getting interesting. And the leader, your kindness, being challenged now by Idilico. Idilico has come through to lead. On the right, as we look, Robert Johnson is beginning to stay on. Baez is there in third. These three settle down to battle it out at the furlong marker now. Robert Johnson stands side, comes through to take it up. Idilico is second. Baez is third. Robert Johnson trying to win his fourth race in his last five starts. Still has the lead, but on the far side, Baez is coming with a good run. It's Robert Johnson from Baez. Robert Johnson wins again in second place. That's Baez in third. Idilico. Stride in this 100% Racing TV province back to Racing Handicap. Against the rails, Texas men in the sheepskin noseband and the yellow colours hard nut. Towards the outside in the light green sleeves, Ecclesiastical. Then in the black sleeves, right there is Sank Bird. These are the four at the head of affairs. Just behind these comes Primo's Comet and in the orange colours, Mia Side Angel. Settling down at the end of the first two furlongs, three furlongs left to run. And Ecclesiastical, the red hot favourite, now takes it up against the stand side running rail. In second place, uh, in the yellow colours, we've got hard nut on the wide outside sank bird is asked to improve just behind these we've got texas man then comes primo's comet and mia side angel who'll be looking for room a furlong left to run ecclesiastical the favorite has the lead being challenged by hard nut here comes primo's comet and now switch towards the far side is mia side angel who's coming with a good run as well three horses virtually in line it's primo's comet who has the lead inside the final furlong mia side angel is coming all the time that's going to be close primo's comet wins it Mia Side Angel is second. Ecclesiastical, a favourite, only third. Seven furlongs, and let's see who's going to make the running towards the inside. The grey, Mary Court, got a good start on the outside in the blue and yellow. The hat trick seeking a uh -huh moment in the yellow and red. Monhammer is third in the rails. Then behind this in the stripes, we've got one of our own. Tracking this one in the green and yellow braces is a gunner side. On the inside is Rory, and the back marker is his stable companion, Oriental Lily. They're going a pretty good clip here as they begin the sweep out of the back straight. Just over half a mile left to run in the watch race. TV handicap on the inside in the hoops it's Mary Court on the outside in the blue and yellow ah a moment these two are stride for stride right behind in third in the stripes is one of our own in the yellow and red on the inside Mon Hammer moves well just behind these we've got Gunner side and the yellow braces Rory has ridden along Oriental Lily's got a lot to do coming now towards the last two and a half furlongs on the far side Mary Court in the blue and yellow the favorite what well, one of the favorites ah a moment then on the far side in the yellow and red on hammer is moving well under pressure but making ground towards the outside we've got gunner side who's coming with a late run oriental lily has switched towards the outside as well here comes mon hammer in the yellow and red to challenge mary court a furlong left to run and it's mon hammer who has the lead from mary court on the far side and mon hammer has now gone on for callum rodriguez staying on from a long way back is rory but mon hammer is going to hammer them mon hammer wins it rory is staying on to be second in third mary court yeah, more now. Of that is the favourite. Finbar's Six race. That's the leading quintet. Just behind these on the inside, we've got Yasser. Behind Yasser, towards the outside of that one is Archduke Ferdinand. Then comes Star Shield. Into the home straight. Just over three furlongs left to run. And Gometra Ginti is making the best of his way home. He's got a clear lead at the moment of about two and a half lengths. Now, here in pursuit is Yeeha with the sheepskin noseband. The cheek piece is under pressure. Is show me the money. Here comes the favourite, Finbar's lad in the white armlet also making a move on the outside is Yasser on the wide outside Archduke Ferdinand is asked to improve and does so coming down towards the final furlough and still in the yellow and red Yeeha has the lead in second place under pressure now is Yasser staying on on the outside is Archduke Ferdinand who's coming from last to almost first Archduke Ferdinand staying on the far side is Alazwa this is going to be great this is going to be close coming towards the line Archduke Ferdinand oh it's a photo three-way photo Archduke Duke Ferdinand in the yellow and red Yeehaw and finishing.